Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Donna and I am making a lighter crystal wall sconce. What you will need is to start off with is three of these organizers in the school section from the Dollar Tree. And you're going to need a lot of these gems from the Dollar Store. Or you can get them off Amazon too. To get started, we, what we're going to do is we're going to fill each one of these with the gems. So to get the best way to do this and make sure they're straight is get something to have a straight line. And each square is going to take 25 gems. So we're going to line up five. Cow cows. That would be my parrot. I wanted her to be in the video, but she ran away. Yeah, you did. So now she wants to be all big. So now we're going to put a little bit of glue on each one. Make sure they're all nice and together and straight. And then we're gonna move down to the next one. But in order to make sure they're straight, we're going to put it to the side here. And then we will glue them together until we have 25. Yep, she's in one of them moves today, it seems like. So we're just going to glue these together, each contact point. Make sure they're all nice and straight. One, two, three. I will clean off all the glue webs when I'm done after it's all nice and dry. So now we have two rows. We want five rows. So we're going to do this again. That one's got blue on it. I want to show you step by step. That will be an Amazon one. You can tell the totally difference between the Amazon and Dollar Store. I have a mixed. It's taken me a while to come up to finish this because and designing it as I go. Okay, so now we got five more. This will make 15. So then we're gonna glue it at that contact. That contact. And that contact. Now I'm not adding E6000 until I go to put it in a tray. Then I will add that on all the points. I just want to get these together right now. So, sit here and make sure this is nice and straight, which it is. Then we're going to do five more. But I've already got mine started and a long way. So for video purposes, I will not be using E6000. Actually, I will not even be gluing it down. Oh, because I've already had mine done. So what you're going to need is three trays. You're going
going to line them all with 25 of these gems, all glued in a straight line. All nice and straight. Perfect. Sure, they're perfect. And like I said, I will clean all this off once it goes off. And we will continue one more row. I wasn't holding camera in my hand I would be just gluing the contacts and putting it together by hand but for video purposes and by holding the camera I'm doing it this way which is why I'm ending up with so many glue webs and strands so we're nicely lined up. Oops. <gasps> do not do what I just did. Wait until it's cooled off. What I want to do is do this to make sure these were straight as I just did. Okay, once this is cold, what you're going to be doing is you'll end up with a bling type booking coaster. And we'll be flying all three trays with our bling crystals. So once all that's done, I will come back and show you the next step. Okay, I'm back. Here's a quick view of the pieces and then the diamond gem, and then it's glued together right here. Don't even mind that mess, because you won't even see it once we're done. You won't even see these. This is how you're gonna do it with three trays. You line all three of your trays with your bees, and then I will show you the next step, which is how I got to this part so we'll be working on that of how we got to this part so I gotta do these yet and then I will show you how I ended up getting it to this part because I have all three of my trays together right now so you have all three together and I will continue to keep showing you step by step of how to get it all done and this is the picture of the back as you can see it's slanted by the spacers in the front and then hot dude really good and e6000 in the back so i will be back once i'm ready to continue on the next step okay i'm back here's a quick view of the pieces and then the diamond gem, and then it's glued together right here. Don't even mind that mess, because you won't even see it once we're done. You won't even see these. This is how you're going to do it with three trays. You line all three of your trays with your bees, and then I will show you the next step, which is how... I got to this part so we'll be working on that of how we got to this part so I gotta do these yet and then I will show you how I ended up getting it to this part because I have all three of my trays together right now 
you have all three together. And I will continue to keep showing you step by step of how to get it all done. And this is the picture of the back. As you can see, it's slanted by the spacers in the front and then hot dude. Really good. And E6000 in the back. So I will be back once I'm ready to continue on the next step. Hello, we are back. Now that you have all nine of your squares filled with your square beads that you made earlier, we are now going to, I'm going to show you how we get to this step. This one's loose though. And put a little bit more glue in. Right. Make sure they're in tight. So mine are still loose. Because I pulled it apart. Okay. So now the next step is get some of your diamonds. Curly diamond gems. Then we're going to start layering them around. Just filling it in. So we're just going to keep continue doing that. Just might want to get a little tricky because the way the corner is. If you're some of them, you might have to glue by hand. Like this one, we're going to have to put more glue on. Be careful because this stuff is hot. I always try to do the corners last. I'm just going to go around. Just squeeze glue at each bead and just drop them in. So that way they're slanted and just keep reinforcing them as you go. Now I am not using E6000 on this, I'm just using regular hot glue because I already, already did on the bobbin pieces, I don't want this much hot glue put in here. This stuff does not want to come apart because I tried. Because I want to change my design idea. So we're just going to keep on putting the on them, go around. Make sure we build up the corners. Make sure our gems are showing nice in the corners. Make sure they're showing nice. Sorry, I didn't realize it wasn't viewing correctly. First time using, no, actually it's my second time using this phone holder. But as I get to the corner, I don't do the corner. I go to the next one and I put one like in between. Keep on going around, filling this in. Still working on my design for it. Now I'm do my corners. Let me look. 
Some of them have three, and some have two. Depends how they lay in, so this side's gonna need three. But this is three, and this one's like two. It depends how you laid it in, because I wanna try to fill it in as much as I can. So I'm gonna go around and put another row of beads on this side. One side's gonna have two, all sides are gonna have like, two. depends on the side, like this is going to have three rows, so, so they're all gonna have three rows except for one side, depends how you lay it in. Or you can just do six rows of diamonds and make it a little easier, but I changed my design as I'm going along here, so... Continue. And that one has like three. And that one has two. And that one has two. I guess it depends what it looks like. Like to me, this one definitely needs this side and that side. So we just build it up on the side, but we don't want to go past the edge at all. So we just keep. Filling it in with gems all the way around. Excuse my parrot in the background. She happens to know when I'm talking, and then she wants to put her two cents in. I'm gonna try to squeeze this one in that way. Since it's still wet. A second okay so now I'm gonna do another row on this side and that's the Amazon one she can really tell the Amazon ones they're so thick but I wanted to show you guys exactly how I do one square I'm finishing this up, which I still don't have the design completely done in my head, so it's going to be getting done as I go along here. Okay. Okay, so that looks good. Check and see if any of them are loose. If so, just roll them in. Now, for the center, I just been going along, finding a center. Just squeeze some glue in. One, two, three, four. Pop the gems in. that was an Amazon one because it's taller so I'm going to pull that one out put some more glue in because it's pulling off okay so then I have four now what I want to do is I want I took the flower bling I have a roll of the flower mesh bling and I went and cut it into pieces and then each one of these, I'm going to add a flower mesh, a flower on it. And as I said, I'm designing this as I go along. I still have a long ways to go. Because this, like I said, this is going to be over top of my hall mirror. Okay, now we're going to work our way down here. And um, 
it, I don't even have the chandelier crystals on yet or nothing. So I'm designing this as I go and along here. And I probably won't know how I'm putting my chandelier crystals until I get done this part and stand it up. So we're going to continue going down. Okay, okay, when are you going to come join mommy's video? Okay, so now we have four. The reason I didn't put the center one in yet because now when we're doing that, we are also going down in between to make this look like a flower. And if we had a center bead in, it would be in our way. So now we are making this look like a flower. I'll probably have to cut some more. So you just slide them in. And then what I'm going to do is, then I take another bead, put it in the center, and then add another flower on top. That was hot. Again, please be careful. I shouldn't be rushing like I am either. Oh, okay, let's see. I probably don't have enough cut. Let me see. I have a little pile here. I thought I had enough cut, but I spilled them. So we will see. See the design that I'm making? Turning into a, a nice looking flower. Mm. There we go. And then put a gem in the middle. See, I, that's why I said it. I try to take them apart because I wanted to. I was having trouble getting the gems in. And that's why that was filled with glue. Still need more glue, but it really don't matter because you're not going to see it. And I don't know if I got. It. I think I lost some. So because I lost some, I'm gonna have to cut some flowers. And I only need one, two, three, four, five. So I'm just gonna cut. One more off of the bling, flower bling wrap. Cut them into pieces. Now I'm going to make this match my mirror. So I'll show you that too. We're going to do a couple steps here still. I'm going to move this back out of your way. So let's finish this one up. Make sure you get it down underneath them too. I'm in a strange angle with the way I have the camera on so when I get to this one I have a little problems. But that's okay. I'm gonna put my other bead on. Gem here. My other little flower. Let that fall. Cool. Okay. Now from Amazon, I bought a pack of these pins, and one fell off somewhere. But I bought a pack of pins. And I cut some of them off already, the backings. So now I'm going to figure out which ones I want to use once I get them all together here. 
Oh, here's the one that fell off. Because I decided, yes, I know I put a flower in between, but I still want to put these on in the middle. So, I'm going to move these from that back. I'll put the hanger down. Let's see what we got here. We have, this one's like bigger. They're different. Like that one's pointy. This one goes to a flower. So we got pointy. This one's like a heart. This one is totally different. Matches that one. Okay, so we got one, two. Let me see which ones I want to use. I think I'm going to go with any six. One, two. Oh, I had to buy a second pack here. One, two. Duh, duh, duh. I like the heart one now. I think the heart one I'm going to put in the middle. Only because that one's unique. I do like how these ones are. But they only give you four, so I'm not going to be able to use them. And. That one's a circle, that one's triangle, triangle, so triangle, triangle. And then, where's another circle? It's like a circle. Oh, I see, it's right here. So now, I have to cut off the back of these with my wire cutter here. Well, that was pretty easy. So now I have my six lined up. So, I want to now, I'm going to hot glue these in the very center. And I like the way that is. And since them petals are that way, I'll put these petals facing upward. And now we're giving it the nice bling. Then we're going to put this one the same way as the top one. Now you can leave it like this or you can go buy these little crystal buttons off of Amazon. I will write down exactly what they're called in my description box. And I didn't pick them all out. Um, I think I will go with, make it totally different. This one looks like a heart, so we'll go with the heart in the middle. And I'm going to sit here and cut these off. And stick myself. Mm. Be careful when you're doing this. I am reckless when I do things. Just, they all come off as easy as the first one did. I had to buy bigger cutters because my other my wire cutters that I had are just no good. Now, so you notice I'm um, for the middle. I'm doing a heart, and so this has a heart on the end, but it's got the same circles as the other one to match. So that's really cute. These are a great set of buttons. So let's see, I have that one pointing up, and then that one, and that one. So let's do this flower pointing upward. Let's alternate. So we're gonna put that one there. Move my camera up below so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And then, since that one's facing that way, I want this one the opposite direction. And then this one with the gem hanging facing upward and downward. Or actually have this upward. Okay. Now to do the other side. And that's going to be the same as this side. So let me take a look how I have them done. Okay. The point is facing upward. So 
bit of plant tracing. I'll work with a little bit of that there. Let me look again at this one. This one is facing the gem upward. And then this will be the Set a second. Now remember I told you this doesn't matter because now I'm gonna use my bling wrap and a diamond bling wrap and I'm gonna measure. Actually what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna measure, I'm gonna start putting it on. I'm gonna go up to the corner. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes. Go up to the corner, put a little bit of a hot glue, and I'm gonna stick it down. Just hold it for a minute. Actually, you know what? I am going to. I'm probably going to do two rows. So let's go up. No, let's keep it down. See what I mean about? I have to. Decide as I'm going along. Okay, so now I'm going to just line it down with glue a little bit. You can put some on that gem because that gem was just our spacer to hold these open. Now I'm going to put my bling wrap down here, my diamond wrap. This one, I think, came from the dollar store. If not, all, all these items, well, besides these trays, are on Amazon. So, where we continue, I just want to show you just one side. And then, what I'm going to do, and then I will finish the other side off camera. Maybe. Maybe I'll just keep going. I don't have nothing to do. Actually, I do have a couple things to do, but love crafting. Okay, so I have that on. So far, so good. So now let me cut that off where it ends, and then I will give you a view of what it's looking like so far. So far, this is what it's looking like. Turning out really nice. So now, I will do the other side. And I do have enough bling wrap. I don't have to run down to my craft room. Which, I will be working downstairs. You won't be hearing a bird soon. I just... It's hot down there. We have no AC down there right now. This house don't have AC in our basement. So I don't like working down there really. And then what I'm going to do is off camera. I'm going to finish this up. And then I'm going to take one row. And wrap around the whole thing. I think. Let me get back to you on that. I have to suck. And right now, I gotta add the top of this, the flower mesh. And I wanna keep this completely straight. So take your time. I know I seem like I sort of rush. It's just the hot glue pulls off so fast, especially when you do a thin area. So, okay, I got that all lined up. But that cool for a minute. 
Now I want to get my flower mesh again. Got my flower mesh. And I think to make so I'm not wasting it and pulling out a whole bunch. I'm just going to cut strips of two. Just like I did my mirror. So let me get this right to my edge. Then I'm going to be down, down. It's so pretty. I saw someone make a light with just the three, or actually it was like six of these squares to make the oct an octagon. And they just had the crystals in the very bottom lined. And I was, I don't know, just wasn't happy with the way that looked. And then I really, like I said, I really need a light in my hallway. Since there's like no plugs there, so I have to go battery over it. But I wanted to make something like I said, a wow factor. Okay, I'm near the end, so let me cut this extra off here. Cut another two rows of the diamond bling wrap. I don't, without pulling it, to be careful. Do I have any extra on anyway? Yes, I do. I did have a couple extra that I cut earlier. Great. So now I have two, one for this area, and then one for this. Okay, and this is what it's looking like so far. So far, this is what the light is looking like. The wall scots. Now I will do the other side. I'll turn it where you can see it. Okay, so that was like, what, three rows cut? So let me just cut myself three rows. is so long on charge it's gonna have to be recharged because I was taking too long so let me hurry up and do this and tell you what I'm gonna do next next I'm going to let me get this on I'm making the back silver I have a roll of this mess of the moment. I have a roll of this vinyl that I got from Amazon. That's this design. So my next step is after I'm done putting this on, I'm going to trace out a piece of cardboard off of a box. And 
and then cover it. And this final. Which it is adhesive, so I don't have to worry about my glue gun while I was charging. I did just buy a new one. I bought a detail one. Because I want I don't like how the glue comes out. And my old one, I think I got it, I don't know, one of them crash stores way back in the day. I do not like that thing. The glue drips everywhere. So I just went and bought I think it's Shorebond detailing hot glue gun. Okay, so there we are right now. We got in this far. Turning out really nice. So, for this moment, I am going to put this on a piece of cardboard and trace it out. Really and then line that paper with some of this roll it self adhesive vinyl. So that's what I have to do now. Oh, I already cut that out. And here I traced the top. So I have that done. And I don't know where I put, oh, my wood piece is way over there. So let me put my glue gun back on charge. I have my piece of cardboard that I traced out. I don't have the ends done yet. So I have my cardboard that I traced out to meet up with just the very ends here. So now I am going to, still don't know exactly everything I'm doing, but I have to cover this for this to be the back to my stuff. I just bought more of this because I just saw some really great ways of using this. Which, stay tuned for that because this stuff really like can make some great blingy prints. Is it marked? Yes, it is marked on the back. So I can just lay my piece of cardboard down the near the I'm going to leave myself a little edge so I can go over. And as you see here, there's a line, so I'm going to cut it on that line. Save that for the top and the bottom. No, just the top. Okay, so now I am going to cover this in this really nice foil. get a chance one day I'll show you my whole kitchen. I totally DIY'd my whole entire kitchen. It was so clear. I can show you before and after pictures. I laminated with I laminated the counters with this roll out adhesive vinyl. Stick. 
and I put nice bling knobs up and made some bling items for my kitchen. Which I'm still gonna do redo my canisters and all. So I'll be sharing that with you guys on YouTube. So I'm just folding it up. And again, I guess this is gonna be my bag anyhow, so if I have a problem with this thing down, which my hot glue gun is charged, I will hot glue it down. Okay, so now I'm going to roll it around, pull this side up. So this is going to be our back, once my hot glue gun is charged, and I will glue that on. And that's what it will look like. Just glue it on. And then right now, I am going to cut out the top piece that I traced. And the way I did that was, I just laid it down on a piece of cardboard, and just traced along the edge, like that and then ran a straight edge across. And that's what I have here. I just went on, traced it, not perfect. And then I'm just gonna cut it out and do the same thing, laminate it. I'm just leaving the bottom open, but I want the top closed. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna cut out this little top piece. So it's great to save cardboard. I know that a lot of people don't like this. I don't want that to fall. If that falls and I break it up, so sad. Just open them up, flatten them out. Now I normally would do this with the pair of razor blade, box cutter. scissors. Here's what I'll do. I'll set this up. I do know that I'm gonna put the, the mesh, the regular mesh, a row of it around here. Now, but I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing the whole thing. If I'm gonna put flower part in there. If I'm gonna leave it, I might just leave it because you know what? I don't know if you have the light and all in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it and put, make my top so for here. Make my top for here. Cause this will be all shiny. And then I'm thinking just one row of the mesh bling, which I have to go down and get more. Let me just cut a little piece of my scrap and see how it looks. That's a really bad piece. Now the question is, is that how I want to do it? I am going to say, yeah, because once I layer the top, line it, once I line this top, See if I put a layer 
I don't know if I'm going to put any in the middle. See, then I can always decide that one is hanging up, too. Yeah, see, I don't want none in the middle. I'm just going to outline the whole thing in one row. And add my top one. My top... My top, I am probably going to... See, this is what I'm talking about. I gotta think about it. I don't know if I wanna just cover this in this adhesive laminate. Pull that laminate or make it go on the very top so it'll reflect more light. Downward. And then I gotta figure out exactly where I'm hanging all my crystal gems from on this and what design I'm doing with that because I can't just do like a lot of people do just hang some gems down some crystal t you know chandelier gems and call it a day I have to come up with a design so for now this is going to be it until later when my hot glue gun finishes Cooling off, make cool off. Charging. Yeah, it is cooled off because it died. And then I will sit here and try to figure out exactly how else I want to do this. And I'll clean it up while I'm at it. Because I'm not done. And wow, it's really turning out nice. Really turning out nice. I'm really, 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 really happy with this project so far really happy with it. That's going to be really nice light. Now the light isn't going this way. Or is it going this way? Oh yeah, it is going this way. Right above my mirror in the hallway. See what I mean? I just constantly changing and thinking. But that's how I come up with such great creations. It might take some time to make this, but it's so worth it. Once you got a, a beautiful art piece on your wall, and that's why I call it art. To me, it's art. You know, I'm just gluing a bunch of stuff together, but it's still a piece of artwork in my mind. So, once I figure out exactly everything else I'm gonna do, besides add the one row around it later, once my other bling wrap, once my glue gun is charged, I will add that off camera and then put the top on. I will laminate, cover that in the laminate foil. And I will put this type of foil down in the description box. So this was really cheap. I just ordered another roll again today because I so, saw so many great DIYs. And I'm going to do my canisters and all of these, this pattern. I have them vacuum sealant. So I will get back to you and we will finish this. And then add the pieces to hang it on the wall and everything. Install the light and we will be in order. So again, I have to build my channel. I'm new to it, as you can tell. But I have to build my channel. So please like and share and subscribe. If anything, I need subscribers. I really want to build my channel up. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. You already see this piece of work already. And it's not even complete. And that's already turning into a wow factor. So you're not going to be disappointed. This is just the beginning of all what I can do. And thank you, and I will be back in a little bit. Hi everyone, I just wanted to give you an update of where I'm at on my crystal 
chandelier type wall sconce that I'm installing above my mirror in my hallway. So I have the backing on. I installed the top. I re-loosened it because I was trying to figure out how I'm going to do the battery pack. But if I'm, I'm actually going to re-glue this back up to the top. So that would be my fault. But that will be fixed. I added on the two hooks. Picture hanger hooks that I have. Hope back out they are on with E6000. A lot of E6000. And hot glue just to hold them in place while the glue was drying. They are on sturdy because this thing is super heavy. So I needed something really sturdy to be able to hold them. And I will hang them up with some really strong type screws. Now I just finished putting around my diamond wrap. I did two layers. I was going to do one by side on two. And I added on the flowers. That was my design here. To add the flowers on it to go around it. They go all down the side. Um, I decided for the centerpiece. Remember there was plastic pieces going across here because it's a three part dish. Instead of putting any type of bling wrap or anything here, I decided to lay the crystals down on the table like I showed you in the beginning. Made a row and then once they were all cooled off, I glued them on. And then um, I wanted to install this motion light. But that's not going to work because it won't work through all this plastic. Which kind of sucked because that ruined that idea. So, what I have decided to do. I must sit down for a second for this. What I decided to do was. I want to remove the battery pack from the back of my door in the hallway. That I have for my lights. That's around my mirror. I'm going to put that battery pack inside underneath here. Because this is still open. So I'm going to install that battery pack in here. And I'm going to use this foil contact paper. And I will line the top of the battery pack so you won't be able to see it through the plastic or anything. And then... My next part of this video that I'll be doing will be showing you guys when I do install the lights in here and then how I'm going to put the battery packs in. And then after that, the following part will be, I just had to sit on this light just because it looks so pretty. I want to show you what it looks like. The following part will be the grand finale when I go and install my chandelier crystals. Now, you know, let me lay this back down while I'm thinking about them. Now, my chandelier crystal, I am thinking I have two options. I have these B caps that I bought. They have like a metal, they're metal, they have like a hoop on them. That I can go and glue around where I want them. And if I want to add some back here, I can just take some of them Jenga blocks and lay them in, put some of this contact paper on it and put them in. Or another option, probably be a lot easier. That way I can still get in and get to the battery pack. See, this is me thinking out loud now. This is what I do, when, especially when I'm doing these videos. I'm thinking out loud, so that might not work. So now my other option is to take clear pony beads and be able to put them wherever I want, I want to hang any of my chandelier pendants. I have all these options, this whole area here, and I have all the way back here. And thinking out loud now about that, I think that's what I'm going to do. 
I think I'm going to use the clear pony beads because the one chandelier, um, I don't have them right here for me to grab them, but they have a little, like a wire jump ring on them, and that octagon shape beads and then I'm probably going to use I got a couple types of beads but I think I'm going to go with my famous old teardrop ones so that's where we are right this second so I will keep you posted I just wanted to give you a view of what all this turned out to look like and I think it turned out gorgeous my mom actually came over and she's like, what are you doing? And I told her I was making a wall sconce my hallway into a type of chandelier. And she just could not take her eyes off of it. I know she's thinking she wants one. <laughs> Every time I make something, she wants one. So, of course, the daughter I am, I will definitely end up making her one. And I'm sitting here looking at this thing, and I silly say I need another bead in this one area over here. I need a couple beads right here. Right here. So I'll do that too. Otherwise, all the, all the other areas look pretty good. So that's where we are for right now. I will get back to you when I'm ready to install the LED lights that run by remote, the same lights that I put around my hallway mirror. And I will video that and show you how that's done. And then I will get this thing installed on my door. And then I will start adding my chandelier crystals. So we can be done with this project. So for that, it's a late night right now. So I just wanted to hurry up and get this part in. So I can eventually get this project done. So I'm going to call it a night. And I will be back soon. Okay, welcome back. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to install my lights. Right now I have my very lights just thrown in here. And I'm just going to take a little bit of ash skin tape and just randomly tape them in on the inside in certain spots so it's all spread out I don't want to be able to show it all the way around and you know what I am going to put this one more piece on Keep it towards the back. I'm going to install the battery so I can see exactly where the lights are. to glue them in in case they go bad or I have to replace them. So looking at my place trying to wipe it up pretty good. So what I did was took a piece of the 
of silver laminate that I had and I cut a piece out and cut it at the top. Now to install this battery pack, I have some Velcro and that's how I'm going to put both my battery packs into this light and around the door. That way, if I have to change the batteries or anything, I can just untake the coral and do that. And since this is the bottom and the other light's going to come over this way, I will have to install that on that side. Now I'm going to put velcro one and this does run on remote but it is adjustable as you see that one's pretty cool see here's the remote and I can change it to whatever I want Okay, so what I'm doing, since this one's going this way, I'm going to, so I can open it too, in case I have to change the battery, I'm going to install this battery pack right here. This extra string, um, to go down. So I'm going to install this battery pack here. Now, way the only thing you're going to see through the inside is a silver coil. You do not see the battery pack at all. And that's just, let me make sure all my lights are where I want them. I'm going to bring that up and put a little bit of tape on it. this side because I want my lights different toward the bottom here too okay let's take a look that's looking pretty awesome I think I'm gonna move these lights a little bit over lights up. Perfect. And I'm going to tape in. You can add hot glue if you like. That's your choice. I just choose not to. Now I have, I'm going to call these B caps with like a little hoop on them. I ordered them off Amazon a while back because I was looking or something how I would be able to attach my chandelier crystal and they look like this so I'm going to randomly where I think I'm going to want to put my garland I have the garland crystals here that I'm going to do from the bottom and then I ordered off of Amazon Here drop crystals. And that's right here. Here drop crystals. So I'm going to take my E6000. and I'm going to place them where I would think that I'm going to want to hang my crystal gems from. Mm, yeah. Let me 
here somewhere. Here. Um, I've got them hanging up there. Put my loop spacing down. And I'm also going to put one on this corner because I think I'm going to add a piece of fishing line to go across to be able to dangle more crystals. Unless I just put the crystals across. But that's all debated and to be decided. And then of course I'm going to put some in here. I might have the hot glue that I'm in. No, I think it's gonna work. These things are tiny. So, I'm gonna... You know. Recording. So I will finish adding these on and I will let these dry overnight until tomorrow. Then I will install this on my door and then finish adding my crystals. I'm not sure how many I'm going to want on here, so you know what? Because I'm not sure of my design. You can never have too many. I'm going to put six on each. And then I'm going to put And then I'm going to line them up through the back. So I'll finish them on for camera, putting the rest of these glue on these on. And then we'll be back tomorrow once I'm ready to put my crystals on. Okay, everybody, I now got my lighted wall sconce up above my mirror. Now, I added my crystals, and I want to explain how I done this because it took me over an hour to bring out my design. So, I have the little hooks, the bead cap hooks underneath here. The first thing I did was I put my strands along the back, which was the center. 12 beads and then a teardrop 10 8 6 4 and then I went and added them in the front a couple drops then I went and added one strand this way over to the corner and then the same way on this side then I decided to add another strand from the back here and then loop it all the way around the here. So then I decided I was gonna glue them all together as I did right here, where all the rings met. It was like just all the rings showing, like it was terrible. So then I put in one of them diamond gems, and then I put a crystal button on the front for decorative. So all I used, then I decided for here, I just decided to add some on. So we got, I really counted for you guys. So we got 12, 10, 8, 6, and 4. And then for these was, da, 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 how many was it? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 for the one loop to go all the way across. And then this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 for that one. And then this one was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then connect to that loop, and then 16 on this side. So 16 and 16, and then I just added two, and then all the rings connected. There was a little space, so I just took two of the diagonals, octagons, and glued them on to make it look like a flower. And I just randomly just glued on some little crystals just hanging down from here and there. But I want the swag look. This is how I like my crystals. So then on the end here, I decide what's it? One, two, three. For the fifth. One, two, three. Yeah, the fifth spring down. I added one, two, three, four, five. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 octagons and one teardrop. And then this is how it turned out. I'm going to give you a close view of all the diamonds that I added in it. And then this is how it turned out. And then I will turn the lights on. No, my luck though. Yes, they look blue, which I can't stand. Um, let's try different modes, but this is how my sconce turned out. You know, in person, they do not look blue. I will try to adjust the color. This is like my favorite setting where it's super blinky. Now I will turn off the light here. So you can see it a little bit better. And that's how it turned out. I think it is beautiful. It makes a really good statement over top my mirror. But this is my lighted wall sconce that's only run on 160 cool white, very light, but, um, very, very light set from Amazon so if anybody has any questions please feel free to ask I understand that the bottom will be a little confusing that's if you copied it but like I said I couldn't show me myself doing it because it was laying down and I had to keep picking it up in the air and I had no clue what design I was going to do so, as I was saying again, this is the front, this is the back ones I put on. And here's all my little hooks up in there. And my two battery packs. And then, all these are linked in the front. As you can see, they're all linked in the very front. And that's how it turned out. So please like and subscribe. And this is just one of my creations that I just came up with. I have a whole table set that I have done. This actually matches my table set, sort of. So please stay tuned, like and subscribe. And please share. I need to get, I'm new to YouTube, and my goal is to be just like you guys, build up my followers, and I enjoy what I do, I love making my crafts, so that's my goal, to share what I have come up with and made. 
So I hope you all like this, and I will add some pictures at the end of it. Have a blessed day.